Hey friends, Nibs again here. Wanted to get out and uh, get a few test shots in with this uh, new rifle I just picked up. And I uh, wanted to give you guys a look at it and uh, let you see what uh, what we got going on here. Um, nice, uh, clear uh, Friday evening. I was doing some work in the garage a little while ago and uh, had a little bit of time before it got dark here. So I wanted to run over here and give this a try. Um, <clears throat> this is a, a pretty cool gun, so I know I say that with every one of them, but this one is uh, actually something pretty special, I think. Um, I did shoot one magazine already, just shooting peep sights at uh, 25 yards here just to get it, see how it shoots, and uh, I'll show you the, when I show you the target you'll see it, but it was shooting a little to the right. I did adjust it to the left a little bit, um, but three shots all touching each other looks like a clover, and that's uh, pretty cool. So, um, so this is a Savage Sporter uh, Model 23C. 23C. They had several versions of this uh, this rifle, but the 23C was uh, designated as the uh, 3220. Uh, version. There we go. I got some some Winchester. This is the only one I got right now, but uh, some Winchester uh, 3220. These ones are 100 grain uh, flat point lead bullets. Uh, does have a uh, removable box magazine. Um, caution everybody to guard these with your life. Uh, they cost more than the gun does, so <laughs> anyway, uh, has a five shot capacity in the magazine. Um, there's the, the bullet, the, it's kind of a flat point, 100 green. Um, so I do, I do have a bunch of brass coming. I gotta, I gotta get on eBay and get a set of dies coming. Uh, I did, uh, I posted this up on Walnut and Steel channel, and uh, one of the guys on there. Uh, Sent me a message behind the scenes and uh, said he had some 3220 brass that uh, he had bought years ago and and uh, doesn't have the rifle anymore. So he offered it to me. I bought it for a good price and uh, it's on its way. So I'll have this uh, 50 pieces of brass plus another uh, another 150 from him. So brand new Virgin Winchester brass. They still in the bag. Uh, I think he said he bought it from Brownells or something years ago but uh, anyway so this is a pretty cool gun uh, it's my first uh, go around with a 3220 um, it's a new caliber for me so it's always fun developing new rounds and stuff I like that so um, again uh, five shot magazine capacity so these ones were usually just sent with uh, you know they've got a blade sight on the front with a little bead on it there um, and then uh, this is not the original Savage uh, this is actually a marbles and it's a flip down uh, leaf to get go out of the way so it's out of the way of the peep sight which is I guess what I, I found is kind of the unusual thing for this particular rifle is this peep sight is uh, is not common but it really looks like it's uh, a factory installed uh, probably option uh, it, it looks like the milling on the side of the receiver and the, the little groove in, in the actual wood where the, the peep sight has to go down in to give you your elevation adjustment it looks like the same milling I've got a couple other uh, Savage rifles with this peep sight on it and it looks just like that uh, groove and, and milling on that one as well one thing I don't know, and I think it probably is factory, is this one is drilled and tapped for a scope. I've seen a few of these online with uh, with drill and taps on them, and as good as that group was, uh, I'm, I'm kind of uh, intrigued by probably putting a little uh, period correct scope on this one. Um, I do have a couple of uh, four and six power, a little three quarter inch. Uh, Externally adjusted uh, 
scopes that I think would be really really cool in this. So, um, so I'm going to shoot another uh, another five shots for you guys. Let you see that, and then I'll show you the uh, the target. Um, I really enthused with that first group. I hope this uh, one on camera comes out nearly as good. I did, like I said, I just did adjust it to the left, just a, just a smidge because it was shooting just a couple inches to the left at 25 yards or to the right. I'm sorry, so I adjusted it to the left. Um, gotta make sure I save my brass because uh, it's not cheap. This brat, this this ammo, I guess is not not much in production anymore so um, everywhere I did see it for sale it was 65 or 70 dollars for a 50 round box of this so um, I do have a mold for uh, a 80 grain bullet and I found a good load for that with some tight group um, uh, also uh, oh, what else did I, I found a couple other powder combinations but Tight group looks like the good one for uh, an 80 grain bullet. It's going to give me about maybe about 11, 1200 feet per second. Um, be a nice little plinking round. Um, so uh, I have that uh, 80 grain mold and uh, been using that for my 32 ACP. And I don't even have to size them; they drop out perfect size, 3.315, uh, uh, I think it is, maybe. So. Anyway, this calls for the exact same diameter bullets as a 32 ACP, so I think that uh, that one's going to work really nice. I just pr I shouldn't even need to resize them or anything. Just uh, tumble lube them and uh, load them up. So anyway, so we'll uh, take a couple shots here, and uh, then I'll show you the target, and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, I don't need to keep you guys too long. For only being a, a pistol round, it's uh does have some pretty good snap to it though. So I really like that. It's a it's it's a snappy little round. I, I I was I was kind of expecting something a little more anemic the way people were talking about it when I first heard about it. So the uh, the bolt is a little bit sticky on the magazine. I was messing with it earlier. Um, the ears of the magazine are actually the, the bottom of the bolt where it's shaped like this. Uh, the ears of the magazine are rubbing on it and uh, that's what's causing it to be harder to push in. So I have to do a little more adjustment there. Uh, but uh, overall it seems to be a really nice uh, functioning rifle. So I think I did pretty well on the price and uh, I've been looking around at other auction sites and stuff to see. But, uh, that's three. This one doesn't seem to want to pick up quite right for me. I don't know what's going on with that. I have to play around with that a little bit, but all right, let's go see how we did. Hey friends, this is Nibs here. Uh, here's my target for my uh, Savage Model 23C, chambered in 3220. I wanted to give you a look at it. So, um, so this over here is the little group that I was talking about uh, uh, that I shot before off camera. Um, that's uh, three shots there, all in one little clover leaf there. Um, so this is the group that I actually shot while I was on camera. Um, of course, uh, you know, I get stage fright. Can't shoot with a darn when I'm on camera. So. Um, <clears throat> but it's still not bad. I mean, it's just joking around there. But anyway, the uh, uh, shooting 25 yards here with uh, with peep sights, uh, 
can't complain about that. And then right after I shut off the video, uh, I did another another group, and uh, I, I just pulled my point of aim over a couple inches uh, purposefully, so I wasn't just pounding on top of that one again. And uh, that's four shots there, and then one one little flyer off to one side here. So anyway, this gun is a shooter um, for sure. Uh, I hope I can reproduce that uh, accuracy with uh, my reloads when I do finally get the dies for it. But uh, I'm definitely going to try to stick a scope on that thing there and uh, see what I can do with it. Maybe 50, 7,500 yards should be uh, quite a shooter. But anyway, back to the video. Anyway, so here you go. That's the uh, Savage Model 23C. Um, so the... Uh, magazine uh, it's a pretty interesting system the way it holds in there's a little catch on the back of it you push it in there's just spring pressure pushing it forward to get it out so you just kind of rock it forward just a little bit and then it'll slide right out so, um, does have the uh, forget what the model number of this peep site is but this savage uh, savage brand uh, peep site um, but uh, I haven't had a chance to research and try to find the serial number, uh, what, what the serial number dates to on this, but uh, these guys were made from about 23 uh, up until the early 40s, so uh, I think they probably, I've seen something said 42, but I think they probably ceased uh, production at the beginning of World War One myself, but uh, maybe not. Um, it does have a uh, rotating uh, safety on here so when it's cocked uh, you can when it's cocked you can put it on safe uh, and so on on this side there's actually a little tab that pops up that says fire so you know it's ready to fire and when you flip it down or flip it up if the safe goes or fire goes away and that it's not uh, you know it's not safe so there's your uh, your safety. That's pretty neat. It's uh, I've seen that on a couple other Savage 22s that I have. I, I don't have many older Savage center fires. This is the only one that I that I have. I think I have the probably the, old, the next oldest uh, Savage center fire that I have is a an old uh, model 840 that's chambered for 22 222. Uh, that was actually my dad's from back in the 80s. <clears throat> so I don't have many older centerfire uh, savages anyway. I don't have really a lot of old centerfire except for mill serps, really. I do have a, uh, well, actually I do have a, a Savage Model 99 that dates from the 50s. So that's, that's a lever action, not a bolt action, but it is centerfire 308, chambered at 308. So. Anyway, uh, not to mumble on and badger on here, but uh, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, also down below uh, in the uh, description, uh, I have some links in there to uh, on Facebook and on MeWe. I have also have a Walnut and Steel Collectors groups on there uh, to go along with this Walnut and Steel YouTube channel. Um, check that out if you're on those platforms. and. Uh, join up there we have a great time talking about good old stuff like this um, also there'll be a link for my patreon page there give that a consideration I'd really appreciate it um, but other than that uh, we're starting to lose light so I want to uh, shoot a few more rounds so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off you have a great day and we'll see you on the next video thanks a lot